Hello there guys, let's get your 64 here, and today I've got a brand new vlog for you guys. Today I'm going to a game store that I know of. Um, we're going to my mother's work to drop off some medical supplies and stuff that her job will eventually need. And we're just, I'm just going to be hanging out with my mom today, really. Um, it's a Sunday afternoon, and it's a very nice day, but extremely hot in this car. And I have... No way to put the window down because it doesn't work. <laughs> but um, anyways, today should be fun. Um, I'm going to hopefully be able to film in the game store. I'm going to see if I can or I'll just sneak it. Whatever one. Whatever one I decide to do. So um, I will see you guys either at the game store or my mother's work. Um, I don't think I have anything to talk about really. Um, I haven't done a vlog in a while, which is very sad because my channel is based around vlogging. But um, now that it is officially summer, I will have much more time to vlog and much more things to vlog. So be looking forward to that, as I said in my summer update video. But anyways, guys, I will see you in a few seconds, um, wherever I end up. And I also forgot to mention that, of course, I have Mountain Dew. <laughs> and it is ice cold, thankfully. Um, yeah, just got the Mountain Dew chilling right here. The most beautiful thing ever. Um, have any of you guys tried the new Black Label? Okay, well that just spilled everywhere. Perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. But anyways, um, have any of you guys actually tried the new Black Label? Or um, Mountain Dew Pitch Black? If you guys have, um, tell me what you think of them down in the comments. I think they're okay. They're on par with like um, Darkberry or whatever that one is that came out for the Batman movie a while back. But, um, they're kind of on par with that, just kind of average, but, um, there's like this vote going on right now for, um, Pitch Black or Baja Blast, and do they really think that Pitch Black can compare with Baja Blast? No, <laughs> that is not even, that's not even a vote, that's like a one-sided, very one-sided argument, and Baja Blast is at the far-sided end of it. And Baja Blast is going to win, because Baja Blast is the best Mountain Dew ever. But, um, Pitch Black and Black Label are just kind of okay. They're not the best, they're not the worst. The best is Baja Blast, the worst is Live Wire. But, um, they're just kind of average. They're okay. I would drink them if I had to, but Baja Blast and Normal Mountain Dew are still my favorites. And then coming in third place is Mountain Dew Whiteout. So, there you guys go if you wanted my Mountain Dew opinions. <laughs> but, um, anyways, post down in the comments what Mountain Dew you like and what you guys think of Black Label and Pitch Black. I would really like to know. So, be sure to tell me that because I will be looking for those comments. Don't think I won't be watching. Alright guys, so here I am at Game Over in Ohio. Um, if you guys want to check them out, they are online. Um, just type in on Google Game Over in Ohio and their Facebook page will come up and their Google page. So I'm going to go in and check out what they may have.
Guys, get all the PlayStations. Coleco Vision. I've never actually seen a Coleco Vision in real life. Holy crap! Wow. Well, I mean, it's a fan project, and like, there's, it's non profit they can't make money off of it, and anything else, they sell more copies, so. I feel like that happened in the middle of the summer. There's a few questions that someone tried to make me feel. Chrono Trigger, they did that, I remember. Yeah. I was like, I don't want to say happen. No. Well, no, Valve actually endorsed that. Yeah. They actually put it on sale, right? Yeah. Okay, guys, so I just got out of Game Over, and by the way, if you guys are ever in Ohio, around the Toledo area, then definitely find them. Go check them out. They were awesome. Um, their prices are very reasonable. Their games are in excellent condition. And the staff was really, really nice. But anyways, I'm going to show you what I bought. Um, I did actually find a Game & Watch, brand new in the box, never taken out of the box, except for when we were in the store. And um, mint condition. All I need to get for it is a battery. I will put the battery in when we get home and I will show it to you guys. But there is a Game & Watch game. It is called Ball, the very first one that was ever released. And I've been looking for one of these ever since I started collecting video games. So I am crazily excited that I finally found one. Um, the next thing is a Pokemon um, Pikachu pocket pet thingy. Um, it, it, it doesn't have batteries, again, like the other one. But um, I've got to buy one. And... This one is really cool. I've seen these on eBay, but they're decently expensive, and I actually found one, so I bought this, and I'm very excited to play this as well. Over here, I bought the Kiss Pinball game. Um, this I bought for my dad because he's a big fan of Kiss, so there's that game, front and back. And then I also bought VHS, which is a like a student-made horror film, so I'm very excited to see this as well. But right now, we are heading off to the store to buy batteries and then after that I'm not quite sure what we're doing so whatever we end up doing I'll see you guys there well guys here we are at my mom's place of work um, we got the kitchen see what food we have that's that's real nice hey, an egg there's an egg like legit there's a freaking egg in there for some unknown reason um doesn't look like anything good. Ooh, there's coffee in there. <laughs> I'm gonna take one. You see that? Some coffee right there. Right there. There's some coffee. And I want it. I could just make coffee. And there's a coffee maker right over here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything good, really. Uh, what's in here? Some frozen, like, breakfast sandwich things? Um... What, whatever this is. <laughs> we'll just put that back. And a bunch of diet stuff. So yeah, that's a thing. But, um... I want to take a second to talk about um, Game Over, the game store that I went to. If you guys do want to check them out, their link will be down in the description below. Um, the link to their Facebook page. Um, if they have a website, that will be there too. So, definitely go check them out. The guys were really, really nice. Um, all the employees were really nice. The games are in great condition. The prices are very good. Just everything about the place is very awesome. And it's definitely my favorite game store now. So go check them out. And be sure to like their Facebook page. Um, go to their store if you have time. They sell everything from classic to new. Um, movies, they have all that kind of stuff. So definitely go check them out. 
please, they're, they're awesome. So now let's explore a little bit. <laughs> um, I don't think there's really much to explore. It's just an office in here. Someone inside an ear. Oh, this is creepy. <laughs> It's a dark room. Let's go see what else we can find. The janitor's closet. Very beautiful. Ha! <laughs> Even the janitor gets coffee. That's nice. This place must run on coffee. Someone else's office. Again, a dark and very ominous room. I know what these are used for. I used to be... I used to come in these as a kid to get my ears tested and everything because my hearing is a little messed up. It always has been. Another person's office. I'm not going to show you guys any like personal papers or anything. I'm just kind of looking around randomly. Alright. Um, let's go see what else we can find. Have you guys ever wanted to have one of these chairs in your house? Like, these chairs are awesome. They recline, they're comfortable, they got the armrest right there. Armrest. I mean, they've got everything. Why wouldn't you want one of these? But anyways, let's keep, continue on exploring. Even though I really don't want to because this chair is so comfortable. <laughs> well, let's get up and go see what else we can find. Dang, this place is like a lounge more than an office. Look at this. This place is really cool. Oh, cool. Guys, check out all the, like, old dental, or not dental, um, like, medical equipment. That is awesome. Different old tweezers, some medicine. And now, we go into the dark hallway. Yeah, I'm going to grab my phone real quick, because I do not feel right walking down there. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I'm going to go retrieve my phone. Let's go do that. And now that I've successfully retrieved my phone, let's go down and see what's in here. Restroom. Nothing major. Man, this is kind of creepy, actually. I don't even know what's in there, but not like I want to know. Um, there's some stuff in there. Yeah, this is extremely creepy, honestly. The chair. It's like a horror game that you guys are watching right now. Very much like a horror game. Employees only. Well, I'm not an employee. What's in here? There's a light on. Okay, that's just the entrance. Well, that's boring. Close that up. Um, the magazines, crayons, a bunch of pamphlets, TV. You know, there's a lot of stuff in here. Well, obviously. I mean, it's not like it's abandoned or anything. And that is the full walk around. So now there's nothing else to film in here. So I will see you guys on the next thing that we do. Sorry I do not have this planned. <laughs> Just a random vlog, pretty much. Like I said, I needed to get a vlog out because I haven't vlogged in quite a while. And I'm happy to be back. Guys, if any of you know me really well, I love dice. And I ended up finding these giant like yard dice at a store called five below and they are freaking awesome i bought a white normal dice which is right here and then a black dice variant so now i have two sets well technically one set but two dice um there's a look at the black one let me get it out there's a look at the black one um for whatever reason I don't really know how to explain it, but I just love dice. And some of you may know that. I may have talked about it in another video, but I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I ended up finding these, and they are very, very cool. But um, right now, we're on the way home. 
We are just driving through a random part of Ohio. I don't exactly know where we are because I'm bad with directions. Ma, you want to tell us where we are? We're in Maumee. Okay, we're in Maumee, I guess. So, um, yeah, on the way home now. Okay, where's the... Okay, guys, so that's going to be the end of this vlog. Um, I had a really fun day just going out, shopping around, um, hanging out with my mom the entire time, and it was a lot of fun. And um, I bought some cool stuff, as I showed you. So anyways, if you enjoyed this vlog, then please be sure to leave a giant like, and remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.